I think it's a beautiful world. That's all it is. I think it's a beautiful world. The world could use a friend. I think it's a beautiful world. That's all it is. I think it's a beautiful world. The world could use a friend. I think it's a beautiful world. That's all it is. I think it's a beautiful world. <laughs> nice. nice nice it was really Loved beautiful it. it was so like I, it was relaxing all things considered yeah like, you know wasn't it so like the beginning yeah. of that where it's yeah. just like i'm Caden scraven yeah and uh Doom. for the next hour and a half Doom. we're gonna explore Doom. using burps mm. through sound and guys um reddit user zen pieces mm. uh pieces. russell mm. zen supplied that mm. awesome intro Russ. thank you to russell thank you um, to russell russell Doo-doo. zen on soundcloud he says uh mm. his description is this is a little ditty i put together for my favorite val- uh, valley folk this is the first time i've heard elliot so adamant about a topic and i appreciated it <laughs> The world is a beautiful place filled with babies and burps, and don't ever deny it. Never shared a track before, but I wow. hope it fancied your oh. ear holes. Wow, it was very, very good. sweet. Thank That's you so applause. much, man. Great job, man. Um, I want to. I, I do think we should really focus on the fact that that was a disgusting burp that he made musical. Yeah, yeah. Really? it's oh. very Bjork yeah. of him. That was oh. one of my favorites so far. I just want to say a uh, post emptive thank you mm. to everyone who came out to our Arizona show. We're actually recording this before the show because we have no time. Do you guys mm-hmm. care that I'm saying that? No, I think you guys okay. are all looking at each other like, oh shit, go. he's saying it. No, no, no. No, I, no. I just ran. Do we keep going? It's Let's fine. keep going. It's, it's fine. It's live. We can't stop. No, I think, uh, yeah, no, we, I think we, we just. We gotta keep transparency. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we just. We're traveling when we're. We, we will be traveling when we mm-hmm. normally record the podcast. Yes. So, um, and we've got a busy weekend ahead of us because mm-hmm. we're traveling to Arizona together on a, in a van, which should be really fun. And uh, yeah, so, God, so, but God I just wanted to say man. thank you to yep. everyone who came out and I hope it was good. We will have I hope a, I didn't die. And we'll have a robust oh, recap yeah. of the said show on the next podcast. Yeah. And uh, videos. And we're going to have a, we're yeah. going to show people clips of the show and we're going to, we're going to make it really fun for people. And we it's going to be a, a cool piece I'm of really content. excited yeah. about I'm so excited. I'm, I'm very so excited, excited about we, it. So much fun. Yeah. I mean, people know now, but we, we, we had Bowman with us. And so that's always a good yeah, recipe for fun Yeah, it's a good time. Yeah. I love a good Bowman. I love a good Matthew Bowman. Who doesn't? You know what I'm really excited for? I'm excited for when we get there. Um, when we get there, approximately 7:30 p.m. on Saturday evening, the night before the show. I'm That's excited such about, a long drive. I'm excited about the time for us <laughs> to go is. to a restaurant, go outside, and and have fun together. I'm, that's my favorite part the about the place we're a staying. Lot of this it stuff has is, cornhole. Uh, yes. There Ooh, we go. I yeah, do it. dude. No, you will. Yes! You'll have a great time. Yeah. Too physical for you me. and I. Oh, it's yeah. Just, you're tossing. We're gonna play a lot of cornhole. Then you gotta cornhole. go back and get. Then you gotta keep no, going oh, back and no. forth to grab it. I don't. Dude, I don't here's why cornhole that. is one of you the. You wanna go back and forth? Cornhole. No. Cornhole is a single hand game, which means the other hand is free yeah. for the other things that you want to do while gaming as a grown ass adult. Name one thing, Joe. Oh, you could have a beer in that hand. Yeah. You know what else you can have? Other things. A dragon or a cat. You could have a cat dragon. Dragon. You have a cat dragon. Yeah. A cat dragon in one hand and a cornhole bag in the other. What's a cornhole bag? And that's what we call it's Phoenix, a, Arizona. It's a bag of it's, beans and or rocks. Oh, oh bag. It's, it's very bag. necessary it's cornhole for cornholing. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, cornhole bag. so bags. hard to do it. Is that the technical term for that? Yeah, it's cornhole, the cornhole bag. bag. Actually, it's also a technical term for uh, a very aggressive, angry Skanky woman. <laughs> cornhole bag. She's a real cornhole, cornhole bag. It's also the non the <laughs> non scientific term for a prolapsed rectum. Yes, yeah. it's it. Oh, he I, had I a think, cornhole bag. Oh, he's got a bad cornhole bag. Let's get him in. Oh, there. also after the show, I hope we have a we had a good time. I hope we had a good time after the show when we went to a <laughs> yeah. bar after we hung out and with you people. Know what? Maybe met a couple cornhole bags. Let's just keep going a little. You know what? Let's just go a little bit further. I hope I had a good night's sleep when we came back. Like uh, like when I finally I got back to my bed. Yeah, I'm oh. hoping I really like. Because it'll feel nice to get back to our beds. I'll probably have a lot of adrenaline, and I probably won't sleep well until I actually, and then then I'll be I'm sure you guys had a great night's sleep when we got back. My son, uh, he woke up and kind of came into our bed at 2 p.m. and 
It's something we're trying to get him to stop doing, but he's just. Too, I didn't have a good night's sleep, is what I'm saying. When you came back, I'm really sorry. Yeah, when I came back, it was just. I'm, I'm tired. I'm a little. I'm a little tired. You can be tired, yeah. man. I'm okay. so sorry thanks. that that happened so to you. Sorry. It's okay. Hey, thanks, oh, guys. I appreciate it. What if that does happen? That's a. That'll. Uh, you manifested it, and it'll be a thing. Yeah. Crazy. You shouldn't do that. You should say something different. Yeah. Break oh, the hey, curse uh, in the name of Jesus. Who's got the first Wait, hold topic? On. <laughs> Don't do it. Mm. Okay. I'm a, I'm a good no, go ahead and do it. Do it. Elliot's gonna try and make it. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come well. Hold on. Hold on. Let me boost you a little bit. Boost me a little bit. Okay. Okay. Put it up to your throat. Put it up to your throat. Ah! <laughs> can we all? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's yeah. all do it. Like Elliot, me. No, I don't think I can. It's so gross. Undo it. It's stupid. <laughs> it's I stupid. Don't like it was not a good because, bit. No, no it didn't bit. work out. Also, I think it's it just swallow sound except for Elliot who went oh. Yeah. Afterwards. It's not a good bit. No, it's because like, he was probably choking on the water he was holding for ninety two yeah. minutes. How about this? It is a good bit. Oh, you're gone. I think I'm there gone. I think it is a good bit. I contend it's a great video bit. Last night you guys were with me. Last night I got a, a hurried phone call. One, Delman called over and over and I was like Bleh. and I kept like you know you know sending him away because we were having a very you know, your husband heavy, Delman my husband uh, Delman I call him Delman his first name is Andrew but I've never called him you know I think about that life. all the time look no, I don't think about it all the time I just thought about it a lot the other day it's not him I just don't think it's him in any way shape or form like, you don't think not, he's Delman I don't think he's Andrew like yeah, not, yeah, for yeah, a, yeah. not for a second. Agreed. I don't think he's Andrew. I don't think he's Andy or Drew. Mm. Like, it's very really interesting because horrible. nor is he a Jacob, no. which I always thought <laughs> yeah, was weird. It's very weird. <laughs> yeah. And I just have always thought about how like because you're a Delman now. Like are you No, I didn't take his last name. And you won't? No. So you're just Lee Newton forever. Yeah. You're not Lee Delman. Nah. Okay. Here's why. One, um Ooh, let's get into this. This is interesting. This okay. is, I want to hear your yeah. perspective on this. I I've worked, Let me get a close up on you. For can me. we get a close up on Lee for this? Can yeah. you get a close up on me? Getting Thank close you so up. much. Mm. Um, I worked hard to be established, even in a minuscule way, as Lee Newton. It feels very weird. It feels very much my identity. Yeah, it feels you're like, you. You know, I'm me. I also I adore my family. I I'm so proud to be a Newton. And so it feels really weird that once I get married, I take his. Your family's also like, last name's Newton. Newton, yeah. Huh. You know, um. So it feels. It just feels. Like, huh, huh. I love Are you it. sure? Huh. Do you have you asked? Huh. Most people just call him mom and dad. Did you ever really mom get to the dad bottom of it? Newton. Um, um, were you also did did any did the fact that it's a ridiculous last name and doesn't work with your name at all have anything to do a with little it? bit? Lee, Lee Delman. Delman. Lee no. Delman. Also, one, I do call him that. My whole family calls him that. It feels weird to be like, I, I'm Lee Delman, and this is my husband, Delman. Like, yeah. that feels weird a little bit. Of <laughs> Lee Delman and Delman and Delman. 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 <laughs> I told him that he should take my last name because Delman Newton sounds no, fucking like great. It. But that's like not, it. oh, you mean Andrew Delman Andrew Newton. Del or no, Andrew just to go Newton. by Delman. Just Delman Newton. Delman Newton. <laughs> I kind of like it. I don't like it. Delman Newton sounds like uh, it sounds like a character from the Teddy Ruxpin universe. Does it sound like Delman Newton? Does it sound <laughs> I'm like a Delman Newton. I'm Delman Newman. I'm a magician. Oh, I can only talk when you put a cassette tape in my back. <laughs> Delman Newton. That's right. I forgot for a second. Good God. <laughs> it's. Now, I don't know. I just didn't. I. It's such a weird thing for me. It feels so. It once again feels so like everything I researched about it because I did research a lot about it. Being like, do I want to do this? And it was like so all about like your property, and it felt so weird to me. Now yeah. here's the thing. I don't really care if anyone else does it. It's kind of one of those things where I'm, I don't have any other stance except for my own on it. You know how some people are like, well, it's bullshit. It's like, nah, man, it's just that's why I didn't do it is because he already goes by Delman. It felt weird to take a last name that he uses as his first did name. Did he ever ask? Did he ever say like, Which not name? at all. I asked him if it upset him too. I was like, does it, is this a problem at all? And he was like, no, not That's not great. Remotely. You do you, girl. Yeah. yeah so that's I just love. Never that's really, love. That's it sweet. It was just one of those things of that being said. In a weird way, and I know this is seems hypocritical, but Sorry. if we ever have children, they'll probably have his last name. Sure. You know? Because that's how that works. You can also hyphenate. I'll probably Newton Delman. Good God, that poor child. Oh, God, don't do that. Is Ooh. It, I want to say Just Noodleman. Use the, or Noodleman's good. Noodleman, Noodleman? is a good one. Noodleman. 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 Noodle
I like Newman a lot, yeah. but he says no because of the whole Seinfeld connotation. Oh, please. It's huge. If someone hey, named Newman, you'd immediately grow up. go Newman. <laughs> let's ask grow up for a second. Ask any millennial who the fuck Newman oh, is, and they'll be like, I don't know who the fuck That's a fact him. right there. Yeah. No, so that's why. Right. That can be my topic. I love it. That's very I interesting. Mean, or you could just do what you're doing now and live your best life, baby. Hmm, okay. Yeah. I will. yeah you and we'll do support that. you. Yeah. Thanks. Either way. Yep. Thank you. How would you feel if he showed up one day and he said, Lee? I am just tired of being known as Delman, so I changed my last name. My name, my name now is Andrew Johnson. But he didn't talk to you about it first, and he just showed up legally. He has the moving forward. He is now yeah. just Andrew Johnson. A best friend named Andrew Johnson. Maybe that's why he did it. Yeah. So I feel a him. little uncomfortable about it. Um, what if he came to you and was like, Lee? I've been thinking about this for a very long okay. time, and I think this might be. Oh, hang on. Let me do this. Okay. Let me do this in Delman's voice. I I've been I've been thinking about this for like kind of a long time, but you know it's not it's not like a big deal or anything. It's but fried. I just it's fine. But I just think that <laughs> we should change your first name to Delman, <laughs> <laughs> so that you're Delman Newton and hey, I'm Andrew I'm Delman. Andrew Lee, Delman. I was going through the tax forms. <laughs> That's a and, big deal. Uh, yeah, right. I think we can save we can save four hundred dollars a year <laughs> if, if, you if we your change your name to Delman. Because we'll confuse the IRS. <laughs> it's not a big deal. The mail that will would get actually lost. be it. That would be the only reason he would do it. Um, is if he we're gonna save, save four hundred dollars no, a like year. No, it'd be like forty three dollars a year. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that I did without consulting you first is I'm also only going to be known as a dog <laughs> <laughs> moving forward. I'm a dog now. I want now. everyone to refer to me as Dog Delman. <laughs> Delman the good oh dog. Oh my God, Look, Dog no, no. Delman. If he like a stand-up comic and he was like, I would tell you what I'm Dog Delman. Dog Delman. Oh my I'm dog God. Dog Delman. Uh, I'm, Frank, I'm a Frank bounty Frank hunter. Dog. Here's my collar and my flea medicine. Let's do this. <laughs> he would make such a bad dog. Yeah. What does that say about someone if they'd make a bad dog? <laughs> I think he'd be. I think he'd be. He'd be pr- he's like a cat. He's definitely like a not a dog. No, I he's think he's not... one of those weird animals that people get that you're like, you shouldn't have a fox. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely That's one of not those legal. Like, yeah. Oh no no don't don't do that. Like um, don't get a fox. Don't get a fox. Yeah. Come on. Come on. No now. no I'm not a fox. I'm a, I'm no, a dog. I'm not a fox. No, I get it. <laughs> uh, no, I time, get it. We're gonna have to have him on yeah. here so he can actually use his voice. And all of our impressions are immediately debunked. It's, yeah, he's just got like a normal guy's voice. There's no way. Hey, I'm Delman. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What's I'm up, Delman. guys? It's me, Delman. <laughs> it's me, Delman. You have talked about me for a long time on the podcast. You keep doing a very random impression of me, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> I don't think it's a funny bit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh. Also, moving forward, I am now uh, dog Andrew Johnson. Del- so, <laughs> Also, I am Johnson Andrew Johnson. Dog Delman. This is my Joe, Andrew Johnson Joe voice. Joe is coming out as Andrew Johnson. Are you coming <laughs> out as family. Andrew Johnson? I identify as Andrew Johnson. I'm just really excited about going on this like road trip with you guys, even though we've already done it technically for people who are listening. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But I'm very excited about it, and um, I I just wanted to know if you guys have Ooh. any particular like really fun road trip stories. Hell yeah, I got one. Yeah. I got one. I got a really good okay. one. Okay, or just mem- or memories. Like I've got I, mine isn't a story. Mine's a memory. Okay, a memory. I, you know what? Memory. Yeah. I'm. What else you guys got? I just realized that the story I was going to tell is inappropriate. It's it, it's inappropriate. It's oh. an inappropriate story. So I'm not going to do it. But Why? oh, um, what did you do? Who did you hurt? There's been so many great times. Did you kill someone? No. There's just a story that did you kill a, a somebody buddy of emotionally? Mine that we give him a hard did you kill time Andrew about. Johnson? Um, we killed Andrew Johnson. <laughs> what happened? Um, Andrew Can you give us the PG version? Yeah. Um, and say it's just say my friend what if when we you were refer like, to Can you. Give us the here's PG this. version. And he's like, someone killed a hooker. It was a lot of blow. <laughs> here's, okay. Wasn't here's, me. Here's my favorite road trip story, or at least traveling story that I've ever experienced. I was in New York City with, I swear to God, Andrew Johnson. <laughs> Is I'm not true? joking. No, That's wait, you name? also know Andrew Johnson? Is this the same? No, it's Andrew a, Johnson. Is this and, a Delman's Andrew Johnson? Delman. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, oh, you were it's, with it's, Andrew Johnson himself. Andrew Johnson himself. Got it. Andrew Dog Andrew Johnson the second. Wait, does anyone get this bit? Were you with Andrew Johnson? You were Delman? with Delman. I was with Delman. <laughs> yeah, my husband. But we're Andrew calling Delman. him Andrew Johnson because sure. Joe said, what if he said he wanted to change his name? <laughs> sure. Andrew Johnson. Yeah. Follow him. Now you're caught up. This is. 
if you <laughs> not hard to keep up. If you were just listening listen. three weeks ago, you would know what we're talking about. <laughs> if uh, you just started playing the podcast from this moment, <laughs> yeah. you'd be very confused. Yeah. One of those people who scrolls into twenty two minutes. Um, but so we went. We got an Airbnb, <laughs> and uh, it was a in Bed Stuy in New York City. What the fuck? And it, it was a very. Worse. It was a little. This bedroom's a Bed Stuy. <laughs> this bedroom's a real Bed Stuy. <laughs> uh, and we went, and uh, we, it was my like second time in New York, and Delman knew some people, and I knew some people, and we hung out with a bunch of people and what we did was i would we would go out at night and we would have a good time and we'd stay up late and then we would go back to the airbnb taking the subway Mm -hmm. and we would go to sleep and i would wake up in the morning and i would wake up to a baby grand piano being played Mm -hmm. from the living room which is heavenly this is heavenly yeah that that delman was playing how old was it like three months three white white beautiful piano Baby he made a baby grand joke that he's no. so. How about you let me tell my fucking a story, <laughs> baby? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead, buddy. Uh, Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead, buddy. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it was amazing. And then we would do that. He, we, I would wake up and he literally have coffee ready. Mm, mm-hmm. I see why you married him. Yeah. And, and we kind of did have yeah. the conversation of like we could just be like married and we. We would do really well together, yeah. like as two. Oh, you dudes. imagined being married to Delman? Yeah, yeah. like yeah. not in any kind of sexual way, but definitely in that classic, like, yeah. oh, I love hanging out with you. This is so fun and nice, and we would just do that. You're we, a considerate we could do man, and yeah. I appreciate your consideration. You appreciate for me. Yeah, he'd have coffee waiting. He coffee does waiting every morning. It's yeah, nice. and I would wake up to literal, really good piano music yeah. from a baby grand piano at like eleven, playing. not yeah. like nine a.m. Like when it was right. Like he yeah. waited for the right time. Like he's like, like he he, would... he knew that that was like <laughs> na- Elliot earlier. Or should get up now, I bet. And then he would go to like the he piano. Knew. He's like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna wake yeah. this boy up right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what it was. And I would he's wake like up to the smell of coffee and piano. Yeah, you stretch. You walk into the kitchen delman goes i made you breakfast and then he points at the dog bowl at the <laughs> corner of the room and he goes get on your knees and eat it and then, he, and then he pulls out a gun and goes you better finish the whole could bed you the whole imagine, <laughs> could you imagine and it's at that point you notice there's blood dripping from his arm on the other side and you're like what's going on here He's, Co- he's got Andrew a fresh Delman, wound. I'm like, no, if Andrew Delman were to ever pull a gun out, he would fumble with it so he, he would fire right away. Yeah, He'd be like, and don't, oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to fire. Sorry, I didn't mean to fire it. When I get ready every day, he'll literally, he'll play like Billy Joel and Elton John songs. It's and beautiful. it's really very nice to just very listen nice. to That's that. So I could imagine yeah. like getting ready. five years down the road. Would you stop it with the Billy Joel every morning? <laughs> Like, With your like hot cup of coffee, yeah, yeah, like, and your beautiful, your like Belgian waffles. That he <laughs> These Belgian waffles are undercooked. That Son of a bitch! So, Fucking like, Andrew Johnson. And I'm like aggressively <laughs> naked. I'm like just yeah, aggressively yeah, naked. Yeah. He walks in. He's like, "What was that, honey?" And I throw my hot coffee. On yeah. him. You've got syrup all over your yeah. bare chest. There's only one dollop of cream on this undercooked Belgian waffle. I like two dollops. Two dollops. Uh, He's like, sorry, don't have clever conversation. <laughs> that's your road trip story? I mean, yeah, we'll go that with that That was your PG that's one? That's fine. Okay, yeah, we'll that's go fine. We'll go with that I don't understand one. how that's inappropriate. No, oh, no, this is a different, different story. story. Right, that's, a good, to, that's a good thank story. Thank you very Elliot much. took a left one. turn. Great cover, yeah. huh? Elliot took a great Yeah, I really, I knew you guys would figure it out. You're so smart. I knew it, though. Oh, I didn't figure it out. Really? Oh, well, you did though. <laughs> well, because they said it. Yeah, and then you confirmed it. <laughs> oh, I had no idea. <laughs> I I believed you. Yeah. I believe that that was your inappropriate oh, story, and you made it PG. I love road trips. All right, what's your? What's did you your... fuck Delman? Is that the story? That's the story. <laughs> did you? It's All right. Okay. Well, I'll tell you mine. I could so never mine's talk. a memory. Mine's a memory, and it's definitely. Memory. And my family would sometimes go to Vegas as a family. That's cute. Which is fun. like kind of a weird. It's I, it's definitely fun, but mm-hmm. kind of a weird place to take your kids. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I mean, my dad is into gambling. He doesn't have a problem. All right, guys. So. It's it's a tough place down. to take Everybody kids. relax. Everybody relax. My dad doesn't. My dad is not addicted to gambling. Okay, Joe. I I'm see sorry. you looking at me. Uh, I don't know what that man, is. Being uh, hyper paranoid. Lee, but... Lee did a close up on me. I appreciate that. <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> Um, anyways, you edit the podcast. I do edit the podcast, but I don't live switch it to myself. Yeah. Why yeah. would I do that? Like, oh yeah, let's look at me now. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Like, I'm just not that kind of guy. No, you're you know? okay. But your dad, you should get him dad, some help. 
Oh, he doesn't need it, Joan. I'm telling you, he does not have a problem. Okay, guys, you want me to call him? I'll call him right now. Um, no, so I don't want him to call him. they used to take us to Vegas, and uh, we had a great time. And one of my, I just have this really fun memory, this like fond memory of being in the car with my whole family, and my brother and I were listening to Stone Temple Pilots, Ooh. like classic Stone Temple Pilots. Like it's it's uh, which one was it? It was like. Um, one time, one thing occurred to me. One time, one thing occurred to me. One time, one thing occurred to me. Flies in the Vaseline. Yeah. Vaseline, yeah. So, yeah. so I remember I us just... It's, fly, it's flies in the Vaseline. It's flies, flies in the Vaseline. Vaseline. Yeah, I, thought it was, I thought it was flies in the faster lane for a long time. Okay. There's a lot. Flies in the, in the faster, faster lane. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All going faster guys. than the other ones. <laughs> yeah. Think I'll be safe for going late. <laughs> Uh, no, no, but so we would drive into, so I just have this memory of driving into Vegas and seeing like the Luxor mm-hmm. and Excalibur, or yeah, and then just being like, this is like, this is amazing that this exists, and I'm here with my family who I love very much, my brother and I are like super into Stone Temple Pilots, I just like, anytime I hear that song now, Brings it just back. takes me back to that yeah. moment of being oh, in the car yeah, together, and just like co- going into Vegas, we're about to have a great time, oh, and that's man. that's like one of my best uh, road trip memories. Dude. I was pretty young though. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. How, how old do you know? Um, I must have been like 15, maybe, 14, That's a great 15. age, though, yeah. to be to actually have a maybe. moment of like, this is really nice. And when yeah. you're 15, that's hard. Right? Yeah, because yeah, you're sucks. a lot of angst. Yeah. Oh, a lot of angst, but also not a lot of self-reflection, not a lot of, not a lot yeah. of self-knowledge. I think it's one of those things where I didn't appreciate it in the moment, but I definitely, like, it's stuck now, with But me. the song, that's amazing. That's the thing about sensory memories yeah, that totally. just, because I, I, this oh, isn't yeah. a, my favorite road trip memory, but it's you're bringing up a memory of mine of almost the exact same thing. It's one of the earliest memories that I have. And you know how like all your early memories are just like quick snapshots yeah, and you sure. may not know what they're necessarily connected yeah. to. Yeah. My favorite song, hands down, you guys have heard me say it before is careless whisper. Yeah. Sure. George Michael and wham. Yeah. Um, and it's because it's connected to just a snippet of a memory that I have from when I was a kid. I don't know why we were on this road trip. I actually think it might have been connected to, to my mom was in a hospital and we went and visited her in towns far away and oh, we wow. were coming back yeah. super late at night. And all I remember is the lines on the, the highway, like the yellow lines just flying by at a fast mm-hmm. rate. And then the the light poles just kind of flying by, yeah. just seeing the lights. That's all I remember. I don't know what road I was on. It was on nice. a straightaway. I see lines and lights and then careless whisper. Dude, that playing. sounds beautiful. It, and it was. And it's just, it's stuck in my head and like I'm that forever. Gonna dance again. And as that like lights are flashed, that sounds like a movie scene. No rhythm. No I know you're not a fool. But you did it. It is one of the greatest songs. It's amazing. It's song. I love it. Yeah. It's a great song. So I'm never gonna dance um, again. The way I, I dance, dance with, with you. you. Yep, and it's the saxophone. That lick just stayed with me forever. Thank you so much. Hmm. Thank that's you. One that, I have that with uh, Automatic for the People, Thank REM's you. album. Oh, that's a great um, album. I have it with like, Thespians in Florida. Is in that Tampa? Free, what the, what's the frequency, Kenneth? Is it on that album? Uh, I don't think what, what's the frequency, Kenneth, is. No, but what's it's on that one. Um, night sleep or night swimming. Dri- or the song Drive and Night Swimming is on it. Yeah, um, it's good. Losing My Religion was one of my favorite songs. So yeah. R.E.M.'s great, time. man. R.E.M. Is I love awesome, early man. R.E.M. Shiny Happy People. Shiny Happy People. Yeah. Yeah. So for sure. good. For sure, for sure. Everybody Hurts. Great song. Oh, yeah. Really Dude, Man on the Moon. That's automatic. It, it, for the that man on the really moon gets, gets me. me. That one yeah. really yeah. good. Mm-hmm. Big time. Just because it's it's totally about Andy, Andy Kaufman, and it's yeah. and it's so good and so sweet. Mm-hmm. And I love it. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Cool, man. So, Lee, memories? Memories. Um... The one that I keep thinking that keeps coming ahead, I ha- we did a lot of road trips because we were like very poor growing up. So that was like a lot of our family vacations was mm-hmm. like road trips out to like collect geodes in the desert, you know. Which is actually kind of cool. It's actually, no, it was like more than cool. We always had a really great time no matter what. Did you find was, geodes out yeah, there? Tons. Like natural really ones? Cool. That's cool. Yeah, I want to do super that. Super cool. Um, but the one that I remember the most just because after, after you said that was... Um, uh, last minute it was like before Coachella was like as big as it was Coachella was actually just a stupid thing in the desert that you could see like all these really cool indie artists like no Beyonce like no anything no, um, not Beyonce then I don't no want to hear about it there's no Beyonce <laughs> no Beyonce I don't want you no Beyonce. Beyonce. No Beyonce excuse me sir do you guys have Beyonce no, no Beyonce, Beyonce. Okay, no. <laughs> no Beyonce no Beyonce we do have Shade. no you want Shade? Ooh, I love Shade. <laughs> You want well, Said? You want Said? I'm sorry, Said? 
E a Said. Who's he saying? Said? No, Beyonce. No, Beyonce. I'm sorry, who is Said? It's a Shade. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Smooth operations. Yes. Smooth operations. Smooth operations. <laughs> No, we uh, so we it was like last minute. My brother and his then girlfriend, now wife, uh, he was classic like, classic hey, move, classic move. Good I, know, right? um, like, I would, God. I'd say, I'm gonna get married. Yeah, Pretty typical, yeah, yeah, right? typical, yeah. right? Exhausting. <laughs> Standard, I would say. Yeah. Like, Why even <laughs> bother getting married at all <laughs> these days? You know? Stop it. Um, <laughs> no, we uh, told you to leave it off the podcast. Sorry, I'm talking <laughs> about it. No politics, We're no ex sponsored XYs. by marriage. No politics, no, XYs. no um, politics, no XY. What is marriage if that's, it isn't wait, politics? That's my entire brand. <laughs> Shit. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. No. So, uh, so last minute he was like, "Hey, a friend of mine gave me these Coachella tickets," and I was like, "What the hell is Coachella?" Um, and he was like, "Do you want to go see?" Because Radiohead was there, and Radiohead is one cool. of my favorite. Mm. I've seen them eight or nine I've times live. To now. See them, yeah. Dude, they're. They are unfrickin' real, man. They're like next level live, because um, they're actually amazing musicians and yeah. they're incredible. Like they, it's art how they do it. You know, it's really amazing. But um, he was like, "Let's go see Radiohead," and I was like, "Yeah!" So we drove out like the day of to Coachella to India Valley, which is like tons of traffic, you know. And then we uh, we saw everything. We saw like Section Quartet, uh, Image and Heap was there. That Ooh, was like Imogen. a really big oh, yeah. one that I loved. Mm-hmm. Um, Rilo Kylie, mm. Sade. Um, I listen to her no, them Sade. every day. Beyonce. No. <laughs> there was no. also like we laughed because there was a lot of people. Andrew that we Johnson. Were, Andrew Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Very disappointing. Nice by headliner. <laughs> um, but then we saw like Radiohead and like we were like we have to go because we were fully exhausted. We were out in the sun in the heat. It's before it was a real place, so they had like you know fifteen dollar bottles of water and that's about it. Like they literally there was no booths. There was no. It's like anything. we're figuring this whole thing yeah, out. Give a, us twenty it was years. In the fucking desert with like a bunch of. T- bunch of tents so i can't wait till i can buy vape pens here <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> i mean it really was stupid we'd had a bunch of water but we were fully exhausted just like you know like theme park exhausted mm-hmm. where you're just like oh fully, yeah fully exhausted and so jake uh, my brother was driving home and heather and i kept falling asleep but he kept being like you have to stay awake so i can stay awake we're gonna like, die if you don't me. stay awake exactly. he was like you have to talk to me and it's like we still bring it up we still say it because i've never seen him this angry in my life i'm gonna pull the microphone away because literally we start to fall asleep and he'd just be like you have to stay awake <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't you take shifts? Because, like, it literally was just like Heather tried to drive, and she was like, I'm going to pass yeah, out. Yeah, but, like, we couldn't one of you sleep and then the rest of the two talk and then switch it up. We tried so hard to do it, and so, like, we did take a shift. That was Jake's shift was the last yeah, shift. Okay. But he was like, You have to, one of you has to stay awake to keep me awake. But on his last shift, we both decided to pass out. Oh, he man. Just, like, literally, he was just like, <laughs> The best line that he ever said is, you guys are going to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to kill us all. Is it? Like, do you think right. I've, mm-hmm. I've pulled that move too, where it's like, please don't sleep while I drive because I'm going to fall asleep too. How much of it is just like, you don't want to be alone. You don't no, want to sit I there mean, lonely. I truly on the ride. think because I was like having conversations with him and I, I remember it being like, well, you know, the whole thing about it. Yeah. Oh, while he's driving. And he's like, stay awake. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I just, we say it all the time. I'm just like, you guys have to stay awake because he's screaming it in the car at the top of his lungs. He's just like, blaring. like to the Bunk. point where you're angry at it, Adam. Shut up. Like, Sometimes like, you just can't help but yeah. fall asleep. Yeah. All of us totally understood too. So we're just like, I'm so sorry. It's my so favorite sorry. Eric Clapton uh, song. Joe. I just can't help but fall asleep. asleep. <laughs> I got kind of hyped because like I I nerd out about very few things, but I checked in on my favorite band recently, uh, Weezer. Weezer. Yeah, mm-hmm. thank you. And uh, and they supposedly are working on next album being what's called the Black album because they've done blue, oh, yeah. green, green, red, yeah, and then white, which was amazing. And uh, and they're taking their sweet time with it, and I'm really excited about it. But there is an anxiety. Do you have any tidbits? No, nothing. No, nothing. there knows there's nothing. Um, like what... And I, I have, I really liked literally everything they put out for a while, and and that makes me really happy. But at the same time, there's an anxiety that comes with Weezer because yeah. I'm like 31, oh, and yeah. uh, and I and and they do definitely, and I love poppy music and like very like kind of surface level like sugary pop rock music, 
and uh, and it makes me feel weird because I'm like, oh, this is what happens. Like you get you get used to the music that you got into when you're a teenager, and then you stay in it forever. And that's how I think and you it, don't open yourself up to new flavors. Yeah, yeah. and then I always that? go back to it. Yeah, because it just makes me feel like how like I would always be like. Man, it's weird that like my dad listens to classic rock all the time, like old rock. Like, why does it gotta be old? Why not all this new cool rock that's out there? Yeah. And now I'm like, oh, I get it. You just go back to what Fully. you know and what you like. I think. Well, it's, it's that thing. sensory memory yeah, thing we were just talking about. Thing. Yeah. Also, you have to have those people. My my brother was one of them that would literally like come home and he'd be like, "Here's this." Like he always he still does it. He'll send me songs because he knows I'll yeah. love it. And you're just like, oh shit. Yeah. Like, James my brother Benson and I do that. We'll be like, oh, here's someone mm-hmm. that he just like over the last couple of years introduced me to and I was like fuck I'm in yep, love. I love him. I'm um, love him. But Never like there's he does that a lot and you would love him. You'd 100% love him. But it's just like I think you have to have those people that are like that also here is a big one too. Movies are so essential in that because there were so many like Guardians of the Galaxy that first soundtrack was unreal. Yeah. That was an unreal one. And there were so many 70s bands that I'd never really Oh like, really? Yeah, I mean like I heard them, stuff with that. But like soundtrack? Redbone I never knew wow. and so I decided to like look at everything else and I was like oh I, I'm in love. Do you like, do Spotify? Are you a Spotify user? I am a Spotify user but they honestly not to shade but like sometimes they get algorithms so wrong i'm like that's enough captain and tenille spotify well, really? to, I, to I shine a little spotify. shine a little light on your shade uh oh, i'm so sorry i'm oh. creeped out by how good they are being like shine a little really? light on your shade oh is also God. an rem the daily song. mixes and an, <laughs> that abba wrote yeah, yeah. yeah. abba <laughs> abba wrote it for rem for rem could you imagine <laughs> oh i can't read in swedish <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, it's I, definitely new music is great, and it's always fun to like but find it. But it's hard it, but to it's not weird. just love. I know. I mean, I think that's it. I, I listen personally... to like shitty. I, I just re- also really I listen to crappy music. Well, like I was thinking silly of, music. I think what you're music. talking about also there's the sensory memory connection, but a lot of that is because when you're young and you're growing up, there is just a lot of sitting around and finding yourself, and a lot of that yeah. is to music. Like it becomes the soundtrack of your life. Yeah. Admittedly, we're all a little busy these days so you don't have these moments of just falling into finding new things that speak for you because you don't know who you are yet Um, but I would contend that Spotify is great and you have to be a little bit more of an active thinker and make a choice but if you just go I'm going to listen to 10 new songs today of people that I've never heard which I've done before it'll open you up so I I, 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 that kind of reminds me of when in in Joe and I I mean and Lee and Elle might know a bit of this but Joe and I are a a little older than you guys but um (laughs) But but when I when we were kids like shut the fuck if you up. <laughs> so sorry shit we don't talk about our age we don't talk about ex wives we don't talk about politics that's my entire brand um, so anyway <laughs> um, so I remember like you would you would hear a song like on the radio or like a friend would be like oh man you got to hear this song and then if you wanted to hear anything else from that artist you'd have to go to yeah. like a warehouse yes. or like a, yeah. a Virgin Records It'd be or an something. No, I remember that you'd you would be an actual adventure you'd have to find an album of theirs you'd have to, like, if you could go to even that, find that it that thing and you'd like a listen center and, you have yeah. to, like, pop and it you'd on be there. like oh yeah. shit like it, you would just have to like roll the dice if it, the artist sometimes it's a one hit wonder sometimes it's like a great but band and you discover that the way. purchase meant more because you were giving cold hard cash 12 15 yeah. 20 dollars for a cd so you wouldn't you would listen to the whole thing oh, oh yeah. You're like, yeah, yep. yeah and you well, wouldn't put it on shuffle you listen to it yep. every yep. track by Truth track be told, yeah. i really also think and this is something me and my brother are recently discussing he's an amazing musician sleeping wolf is his band if you ever want to listen to it he's incredible oh we don't know um, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to delete that, that from the podcast okay, okay. Anyways, that. no he was saying he's like i really <laughs> feel like back then when people did buy albums because that's what you had to do he's like the, um, so much more effort went into albums perfect examples are like michael jackson you can pop it on and listen to it violently through like it every song is Angrily. perfection yeah you get an- you know, i get angry I'm when eruptingly about it. <laughs> yep. but like really you can listen to and i feel like so much more now they're like eh, yeah just pop it on there like i, mean, I really you do. just don't get the album experience I anymore yep. yeah, i mean i um I, you know elliot to your to your topic really quick um i i feel like i've always been kind of an elitist when it came to music and, and movies in some ways and um, I'm I'm, op- I'm opening up a lot more though. I'm definitely I'm definitely grown. I'm definitely grown. Uh, but I. Uh... <laughs> what happened? For Easter, my wife got me a gift in my Easter basket. Humble brag. Sorry, no, the Easter humble. bunny wow. Wow. got me a gift in my Easter basket. Uh, Jesus, Joe. And yeah. in it was a crate, a little crate, a little white crate, a little beech wooden looking crate filled with chocolates. And these chocolates are right here. And these chocolates 
are beer <laughs> no, chocolates. No, These are Beyonce. white Belgian beer filled wow, chocolates. Your wife knows you well. Know. Um, right. So I wanted you guys to all experience oh, this no. this journey with me together. These are all different types of beers. Now is it real alcohol? Um, is there, is I do believe it's so, but content? it's it's so it's at twelve point five. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be knock you on your ass. It's, it's actually, I'm going to go to the hospital. It's a 12.5 percent alcohol content with mixed with heroin. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> tinge of heroin. Um, Goodbye, mom. So the aftertaste I, of heroin. I want to. I have um, experienced like these. This. Everything. Oh yeah. Uh, let me do full disclosure. Zoom. I've already had some of these, but I wanted to experience it with you guys at the same time. So I'm okay. not going to tell you what my experience cool. has been because I feel like it'll be the same damn experience when I do it again. Um, so you guys can all choose. Um, oh, have we chosen? You You've all chose. I've got rosé max. Do you like rosé? No. There we go. I don't it's, even know what it is. What is this? It's called Choco Beer. This was Bruges, 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 Bruges. Oh, no, for those, uh, for those just listening, we have um, <laughs> slightly beer shaped. Oh shit! I've been yeah. <laughs> foil <laughs> wrapped. The closer shot shaped, was still going. What is this? Bruges, Bruges. I, I don't. I think it's all made. Oh, it's up. a different language or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I think I think the best way to do this is for all of us to just. Throw the whole thing in our mouths. The whole thing? And just live and it. Live okay, it fear factor. Right? Yeah, it is a little. Jesus. I think it's the wow, only way yeah. to do it. I like it. to enjoy my chocolate it Smells beer. like chocolate, right? Really? Is the whole it? thing? We're doing the whole thing? I think, I I think that's the best way to do right, it. Let's like, do it. Do a countdown, Joe. Do a countdown. Is, is there liquid? Uh, uh, yeah, there's liquid. Oh, there is liquid. Oh, that's yeah. why Jesus. you said whole okay. thing. Well, thanks a lot, Joe. Yeah, all right. This is going to be worse than that whole swallow thing. So we're all going to go. This is chocolate-filled beer. Uh-huh. Or a beer-filled chocolate <laughs> no um, that we got from Easter, mm. and we will all vividly describe our experience after three, two, one. Mm. Mm. Not good. <laughs> <coughs> We're supposed to be friends. Yeah, I know. It's real bad. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm okay, okay. Mine wasn't that bad. I really feel, liked it. You feel the, the crystallization? Yeah, what okay. is that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is this a shell? It is really hard. Uh-huh. And crunchy. Oh. I think I think they crystallize the inside so the beer don't escape. Yeah. yeah. Weird. Oh. Um It's I, really um, crunchy. It does not wait, look now like Steve's a crunchy thing. Wait, now Steve's never going to drink a beer with us. Well, I'm not used to the flavor. I'm not... It actually tasted not. It, t- it tasted like it had more of an alcohol content than beer. It's, yeah, they're robust. They are robust. It does feel like I'm like it's like a vodka shot in a uh-huh. thing. Is what it tastes right? like. Right, but it's beer. Yeah. yeah, it did taste more like vodka. It, tastes it more just like tastes vodka. like beer at all to me. I um I gave up beer for the new year and I just broke my. New <gasps> oh year's my god! Oh, it doesn't really you know what, count. It doesn't count. We're not talking about your top. It doesn't count. You know what, Joe's topics. We're just gonna have a talk to Joe about his topics. We'll talk to Joe about his topics. It doesn't count. I mean, just every time we're just miserable after his topic. Yeah. Like, oh, did you have a goal? I'm now, gonna destroy your goal. Now you can drink beer. Yeah, you're right. Yes, um, I'm back. I'm back, I, everybody. Uh, I, I didn't think it was awful. I just wasn't ready for the how much alcohol content was hidden in that. Yeah. Surpri- it pops out at you. Yeah. yeah. Here's the other thing. You are so lucky that you didn't have to do this rose man. Really? Mm-hmm. I what had a cher- like? I had a cherry one that time, and it's the best one that I've had they because have, the cherry they chocolate. Had it like was a bad, little, man. Uh, like a little raspberry, so it was like a raspberry vodka shot. Weird. Was uh, yeah, mine was just cherry vodka shot. Mine just yeah. straight up tasted like just like a pure alcohol. Yeah. No, I didn't mind it. Um, but that then again, anything in chocolate, I really don't mind. Yeah. All right. That's the truth. I, I don't like it hot, like spicy chocolate. I don't like like I think chocolate has like pepper. Oh yeah, that's exhausting. I'm not into that. That's not what I. It's not what I gave you. Sick. But I didn't yeah, don't give make you that. chocolate a fucking don't game. Don't make chocolate a game I, with me. Don't make or a game. Like, it's what we just did. Yeah, yeah. You know what I do like though. I like it when there's those potato chips. It's like like uh, Pringles that are like covered in chocolate. Hell yeah. That's a a little salt, a little bit. A little salt, a little what are you nuts? Uh, what do you got, Joe? What are you doing? I just want to let you all know that this Belgian beer-filled chocolates gift set starts at twenty two ninety five, but was swiftly discounted and is now available <laughs> for seven ninety eight. All right, I <laughs> that's can't really the funny. Why? Wow. That's so funny. Yeah, no one bought it. Huh? I can't really shake. Is anyone else able to shake the thing in their mouth? They're tasting. I feel great. I, I mean, I'm I didn't fine. mind it. I'm fine, yeah. I had a fine time. You I, had uh, a good one then. I did actually may have just had a good one. I mean, I mine was just, good one. no the cherry The chocolate was good. I just think the liquid is a little too strong. Yeah, it's gross. Mm. Also, I don't, I'm, hear me out. I don't like someone popping in my mouth. Uh, you don't good. like gushers? You don't like pop rocks? Oh, I love pop rocks. You don't rocks. like dick? <laughs> <laughs> 
I was waiting um, for it. All right, guys. Well, hey, this was great. It's a little That's bit of a really short good. one, but Joe has to get going. And um, I got to go take my son to his kindergarten walkthrough. Oh, yeah. that's cute. And also oh, the rest cute. of the Valley I'm going to leave him there. Uh, are preparing for our Wednesday evening stream, yes. which we're going to play God of War together. Oh, I'm and we're going to hang out. We're just going to have some snacks. And that sounds really nice. Sit back, relax, and we'll just play some God I'm of War, have fun, and just that. talk to the audience. Ooh, and I'm ready. Have a great time. So if you guys, you guys, I'm sure, I mean, this has definitely gone up after that, but um, um, you could probably go to uh, twitch.tv slash the valley folk mm -hmm. and check out you our should do that archive anytime. videos. Yeah. yeah. You can check out archive videos and then you could join us every Wednesday night around 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, for a live stream. Mm -hmm. You guys are wonderful. Yeah. Play we've, with us a lot of times. You we've quip lashed. We've rock yep, banded. We play rock oh, band. we we, we, we've even done uh, character work with candles. We certainly mm -hmm. have. And more is coming for sure. We yeah. killed a man in real time. More we, is coming. Absolutely. Just the, I mean, more sketch type things are coming. Mm -hmm. More sketch type things. More sketch type things. But most importantly, we, we, have a lot of fun with the audience so yeah. Yeah. if you want to participate with us and play some fun games with yeah. us or just like you know come and let us know what you think of the podcast and what we've been doing so far then we'd love to have you come by and say that to yeah. us yeah. ask us some it. questions whatever you want baby yeah um and we'll leave it. you with a little bit of um i feel so unsure what is this song i don't know as i take your hand and lead you to mm. the mm. dance mm. floor mm. As the music dies, as the music dies, something in your eyes, in your eyes. calls to mind the silver screen and mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. its sad yeah. goodbyes. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. never gonna dance, dance again. again. Mm -hmm. Flies are in the fast mm -hmm. lane, baby. <laughs> Stay away! Stay away! Gold. You gotta kill us all! <laughs> I'd like to thank Andrew Johnson for today's episode and goodbye, everybody. We'll see you next time on the Valley. <laughs> <laughs>